like personal space in America is like this. This is my personal space. But personal space in Spain is like this. Hello, YouTube. It's a little different. A little different. And people are... Yaho, YouTube. I am super Yankee. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over some of the positives and negatives that I've been experiencing in Spain during my second month of living here. So I know everyone's probably more interested in the negatives as opposed to the positives. And that's okay, because negatives are real. There's a lot more negative stuff out there than there is positive stuff. And it's my job as a positive thinker to tell you about it. So let's just jump into the first one. Culture shock. I made a video a long time ago talking about culture shock, saying it wasn't real. But what I realized in Spain is that culture shock is very real. Because you have to adjust to a new way of life. And if that place isn't the same as the new place that you're going to, you're going to experience some differences. Some of the cultural differences that I'm facing over here in Spain is the language barrier, making friends, and laziness. So first I'm going to talk about the language barrier. I don't speak Spanish. I literally made a video last week talking about how I misused the word caliente with my principal, and I have no idea if I'm going to get recontracted next year. But there's a perception, there's like this, but there's like this perceived language barrier. I realized this yesterday when I was sitting down for dinner and just looked at all of the tables of Spanish kids. Birds of the same feather tend to flock together, and I am a super ganky bird, which means I got super ganky feathers. Not many people have that. So when I see groups of people sitting together, I always think to myself, oh, I should go talk to them, but like, I wouldn't know what to say, and my Spanish is not that good, and I'd have to put in a lot of energy, time, and effort. And you know, this isn't always bad, but eventually, eventually you realize that you've missed out on lots of opportunities of talking to people and forming relationships, because you have been tricking yourself into believing that it is impossible, that it's not realistic for you to actually use a language to make a connection with someone. And I think people are just more excited about you trying to use the language as opposed to actually forming a coherent sentence. And this kind of works in tandem with the whole laziness thing. Because what I've understood is that there's a very big cultural difference between America and Spain. I tend to view America as like a rat race, you know, everyone's like na 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 But in Spain, I tend to see it more like, you know, we'll work, but then da na 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 we're just gonna like enjoy life afterwards. You know, I feel like in America, people tend to forget to enjoy life as much as they should. But here in Spain, they're a little too aware of enjoying life. And yo tengo metas, I have goals, I wanna keep working towards my stuff. But I see like the culture around me and it's all like, yo, just tranquilo, like take a break, relax, drink some wine or whatever. And I'm like, yo, yeah, let me do that. And then I'm doing this and then like 10 days later, I'm like, Oh yeah, 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 I have goals, I forgot what happened in the past 10 days, I have no idea. Anyway, YouTube, that about covers it for all the negative things that I've been going through here in Spain. Not many of them. As I said in the beginning of the video, I am a positive thinker, and it's hard to bring a positive thinker down because all of the negatives have purpose, and they can be used as fuel to the fire for positive thinking. So now let's start talking about the positive things. First of all is travel. So. Since I've been in Spain, I've been to Toledo, I've been to Segovia, I've been to Madrid, and I've been to Barcelona. I went to Barcelona last week, and I'll be posting more travel videos about Barcelona this week. Not saying that you can't travel in America or wherever you live, I'm just saying, America's really big. It's really hard to get around. It's like you gotta drive hours to get to places. And for me, I'm like, I don't drive, I drive a bike. I don't even have a license. I literally don't. I had the test before I was coming and then the hurricane was like, swerve, don't take the test. And I could have taken it anyway, but the hurricane was like, no, swerve. And I was like, okay, I'll swerve. And it's just hard. It's hard to get out there and to go places, especially when you're alone, like when you're by yourself. And most times, generally speaking, if you want to do something, you're going to have to travel alone. Unless you can find someone who wants to do the same thing as you. For example, I know a person that wants to go skydiving in Tenerife. But she wants to find someone to go skydiving with her, but no one wants to do that because they're all like, oh, I'm so old, I don't want to do it, it's such a risk. 
And here I am like skydiving. That sounds pretty neat. I want to do that. I don't know if I will, but you'll see that video in probably February next month because there's carnival in Kennedy Fay during that. So the opportunities that I've gotten to travel have just been phenomenal. Especially Barcelona because I made friends here in Madrid who lived in Barcelona and took me around the city. Number two, we gotta go about number two, we gotta talk about the people. I think there's a big cultural difference between Spain and America in terms of how people talk to each other. Like personal space in America is like this. This is my personal space. But personal space in Spain is like this. Hello YouTube! A little different. A little different and people are a lot more friendly, a lot more openly friendly over here. I mean like you get the whole like, oh how are you in America? But over here you get the whole, okay tal, como te va, how's your day, are you estoy contento? Like, there are more follow-up questions to like a hello here in Spain that I've experienced. And people just want to, like I said, they want to like enjoy life more than work. And I feel like that's what they do in America, they work more than they enjoy life. Another really big positive thing is that I can speak Spanish now. Like, I thought I couldn't speak a word of Spanish back in America, even living in Miami, because I never wanted to. But now that I'm in Spain, I actually speak a lot of Spanish, and lots of people confuse me for a native speaker, and I'm like, no, no, I'm not a native speaker. I'm trying to improve my Spanish, right? The point of what I'm saying is that it's a positive thing because I've put myself in an environment where I want to use Spanish. When I was in Miami, I didn't want to use Spanish. But now that I'm in Spain, it's out of necessity and desire that I want to speak Spanish, that I want to get better in Spanish. And that is really allowing me to grow as a Spanish speaker. Environment matters, YouTube. Believe me, if you want to do something, if you want to learn something, environment matters. Next thing, to po next thing that's positive is my job, man. I like my job a lot. I like being an English teacher. I don't know about you, I just think it's so cool, especially if you got like a nice school, and I got a nice school. You can just go to work, you chill out, you be motivational, you laugh with the kids, you teach them English, you have a connection. It's very different than when I was in Japan, because in Japan people would like, they drilled me more than they drilled the students. I'm not even kidding. I got more lectures than the students got lectures in Japan. Like, they really helped me out. They really helped me grow up. But over here in Spain, it's a lot different. Like the classrooms are really noisy because there's like a talking culture inside the classes and I mean sometimes it can get a little much, especially those fourth graders. Ooh, they drive me up the wall. But generally speaking, I mean, it is what it is and it's a good environment to be in. And honestly speaking, I have a lot of free time after work. I mean, I don't have a lot of energy after work because it takes a lot of energy to be Genki all the time, especially in front of children. But there is more free time than I had in Japan, and the free time is being put to good use. Like you saw last week, I'm starting to make piano cover videos, and I already have the song that I'm going to learn to make this week's piano cover. I can't tell you where I play piano because it's a secret and I have an arrangement, but I can just say this. The first day I came to Akala, I knew I wanted to play piano, and the first day is when I found a place to play piano. I didn't get to play that first day, I had to wait about two weeks to get approval. But the point is that I found it and now I'm doing it. And if you use the same concept to find what you like, you can do what you like. Now that we've talked about some of the negatives and the positives, let me just give you an update of where I'm at right now. I'm at the Residencia de Lopa Verga over here in Acala. And I'll probably be moving out. I'll probably be moving out next month in December, I think. Because it's a little expensive here and I want to start learning how to cook. I want to start learning how to cook and they don't have a kitchen here because they cook all your meals for you, which is not bad, but it's like, there's like a resume card that guys have that they give girls when they want to go out on a date. They're like, hey, here's my resume. <laughs> and then the girls read the resume, it's like, oh, yeah, you, have, you like this, you can travel, you can play music, oh, but you can't cook, ooh, ooh, what are we going to do about that? Point is that guys, gentlemen, just a word of advice, if you can cook for your lady, she will be very grateful for you. Because you know how they say a way to a man's heart is through his stomach? I think it's the same thing with the ladies. A way to a woman's heart is through her stomach, right? Hey. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Likes really help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Really trying to get to 100,000 before I'm 25. 24, right now I've got some work to do. Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments with Genki energy and positivity, but most importantly, Share this video with your friends because we need, we need, we need, we need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one.
Bye bye.